So the first rule for do-it-yourself home security maybe is this, okay? Don't tell the entire world about your own home do-it-yourself security. I'm about to do that now, obviously. So this brings us to the third in the series that has been sponsored by Lowe's Home Improvement. You know Lowe's, we all know Lowe's, we all love Lowe's. And you know how this works, right? They sponsor the video, I review the thing, just like I always would, and everybody's happy. So the first two videos in the series, Google Home Hub, you've seen it, you know it, you love it, highly recommend it. And yes, the Nest thermostat, I use it every day. And now it's time for some do-it-yourself home security with Nest Secure. Been using this thing for a long time now and it's finally time to talk about it. Ready, let's go. So this is the Nest Secure. And the basic system, which costs $400, comes with three parts. So first, there's the Nest Guard. It's exactly what it looks like, okay? It's a keypad for arming and disarming the Nest Secure system, and it also serves as a motion detector, which is kind of cool. So you'll plug it into a wall and need to keep it in a relatively central location, right? Because as you're coming and going, this is the main way you'll probably be arming and disarming the system. Now we'll talk a little more about this in a minute, but know that it also has a backup battery tucked inside, so if the power does go out, you've got 12 hours of use. Now you also get two Nest Detect wireless sensors. These things are battery powered and they're pretty cool and you've got a few options with them. You can stick them on a door or a window and once they're up there, it'll monitor either whether the door or window is open and closed or if you want, you can stick them on a wall and it turns into a motion detector. Really easy, really cool. And finally, it comes with two Nest tags. So these are little key ring fobs that make it super easy to arm and disarm the system. Just tap it to the keypad. So that's everything that's here in the Nest Secure Starter Pack. You can absolutely buy more if you need to. I had to buy a little extra, but you can pick and choose as you go so you're not spending a whole lot of money on things you don't actually need. That lets you be strategic about things, right? Do I really need to have sensors on every door in every window? Maybe, maybe not. It really depends on where you live and your situation and exactly what you want. Now setup for this kind of thing is really easy. If you've ever used another Nest device before, you pretty much know what you're in for. Everything has a QR code on it that you'll scan with your phone. Each Nest guard, each Nest detect sensor, every Nest tag. So figure out where you want the Nest detect sensors to go and then follow the instructions as you stick them to the wall or the door or the window or wherever. As you're setting things up in the app, they'll all be registered with a Nest guard base unit and start talking to each other. And that actually brings up a really interesting question. So this all ties into your Wi-Fi, right? So you can control it with your phone and check on it when you're not in the house and all that. But what happens if your Wi-Fi goes down? Does everything just stop working? No, actually it doesn't. And there's a really cool reason why. Nest Secure uses something that's relatively new called Weave. Now that's a nerd protocol for a thing called a thread network. And here's the plain English version, okay? So instead of each sensor, having to talk to the internet and then coming back and talking to your phone, they all actually talk individually to each other. So the Nest Detect in the garage talks to the Nest Guard keypad over here, and it doesn't have to go through the internet first, right? So that way if the internet goes out, everything keeps working. If someone breaks in and there's still power to the whole system, we're good to go. So what's Nest Secure actually like to use? Now, all right, to be fair, this is the only alarm system I've ever actually used, but I have been more than happy with it. Now let's talk about arming the system, all right? There are two modes here. There's away and guarding, and that's what you're gonna use when you actually leave the house, and it arms the doors, it arms the windows, it arms all the motion sensors. Or there's home and guarding, and that will turn on the doors and the windows, but leave the motion detectors off so you can still roam around the house. Now Nest is really cool in that it can tell when you're home and when you're away. It uses your phone and talks to the app and all that stuff. And if you're gone and you forgot to turn the alarm on, it'll actually remind you and say, hey, do you want to turn it on? And it takes one touch, turn on the alarm, you're good to go. Same thing for when you return home. It'll say, oh, looks like he just got home. And you might not even be in the door yet. When you get the little notification, you can turn the alarm off before you even go inside. Or if you prefer, you can just turn things off at the Nest Guard keypad, either with your passcode or with the Nest tag, totally up to you. But maybe my favorite is that I actually have mine rigged up into a Google routine. So at the end of the night, I say, hey Google, go to bed. And it turns off all the lights in my house and sets the alarm automatically all in one fell swoop. Very cool. So if the alarm does go off, a couple things happen. First, 
It'll turn on any Nest cameras you might also have in the house. It's really cool and it helps you figure out maybe it was a false alarm, right? It happens. And if that happens, you can turn it off right here from your phone. Now, in the meantime, an 85 decibel siren is going off from the Nest Guard itself. It's pretty loud and it'll keep going for 10 minutes or until you turn it off or until the cops show up, whichever happens first, right? Security alert. There was motion in the kitchen. So those are actually kind of just the basics of Nest Secure. What about kind of the random stuff? So if you've got pets who weigh less than 40 pounds, there's an option in here for that. And that should keep them from setting off the alarm when the motion detectors are turned on. You're gonna have to kind of play with that though and figure it out yourself. And the door and window sensors have bypass buttons. If you wanna open them up, but not actually turn off the alarm, just push it, it turns green. You can open the door without setting things off. Now there's also the option to hook Nest Secure into professional monitoring from Brinks. Now that costs $19 a month with a three year commitment or $29 a month if you just wanna play things by year. Now that also activates a cellular backup so they'll be notified even if the internet goes out. Again, that's all optional though, totally up to you whether you wanna use it. If you just wanna rock things on your own, go for it. Oh, one more thing, okay, and this is maybe my favorite thing. If you have a Nest Yale lock on a door, typing in your passcode on the door lock can actually shut off the alarm at the same time. I love this for my kids, right? They don't have to carry keys anymore. They just have to know their passcode, and then they don't even have to worry about turning the alarm off when they get home from school. So that's it for Nest Secure. I tell you, I've been using it for a long time now. I love it, and it really expands as much as you need it to, right? Only buy the parts you need. This has been a pretty high level look, I get that. So if you've got any more questions, hit me up in the comments, hit me up in the socials, I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thanks again to Lowe's for sponsoring this video. I've got links down below to buy things from them. Be sure to go watch the other videos in this series as well. That's it for now, thanks for watching, we'll see you later.